appreciate everything. All right, guys, we are back in Free Code Camp. We're making our tribute page. So this is what we currently have, and we now want to have it look like this. We want things to be centered. We want this to look a little different. We want to change the fonts up, and we also want this to be on hover, change the image that's going over it. It looks like we're changing the color over it, but we really just did a little bit of Photoshop beforehand. And so when you on hover, it displays it. And when you're off, it just goes back to normal. So let's go ahead and edit this up. And I think the first thing to do is just to create the on hover effect. Now, this is pretty straightforward at the end of the day. So by default, we have this image in our SRC. The next thing that we're gonna do is give it on, give it the on on mouse over equals, and then we'll do some stuff, and then on mouse out equals. So basically, we define what the image is originally. We then set an on mouse out by changing the SRC, uh, the source. So we're just going to say this dot SRC is equal to, and then within here we have our, our link, which I believe we're missing one of those. Cool. So this isn't going to look like anything's changed because this is on mouse out. So nothing's changed. So we're going to do the same thing, except in here uh, we're going to instead set it to our new image that we had already previously edited. So this is uh, SRC equals, and then let me go ahead and copy pasta that in. Cool, and now, oops, it looks like we messed up our brackets. do it like I believe I originally did it with quotation marks so on mouse over on mouse out and then we'll go ahead and do the same thing here so there we go so uh, make sure your quotation marks are right so you'll see here, now all that's happening is we're swapping out these images. So cool. We have our apple that's changing colors, the true Kira is being shown. So what we have to do next is just a little bit of styling. We're going to go ahead and change the font. We're also going to float this left and we're going to center the rest of this. So probably the easiest thing to do is use uh, Bootstrap. So uh, everything's in the body. Uh, tag so what we can do is we can actually I don't even think we need to do the body what we can do here is create a div and we will we'll create a div and we'll just give it the class text dash center and then we'll have to close the div of course So you'll notice everything centered, but we didn't want this centered. So um, let's go ahead and just create a div around the paragraphs as well. And we will go ahead and give it text slash left. So we'll create a div here. Actually, we'll close that div there, and then we'll create a div right here. And we will go ahead and say div class equals text dash left. So now our paragraphs are all going to be aligned with the left because usually that's how you want paragraphs to look, left to right. It makes it just looks cleaner that way. Um, the next thing we kind of want to do is just change the color scheme of what everything that's going on here. Now I don't know what your personal favorite font is, but mine I like lobster. Some people really hate it, so we're just going to go ahead and throw this up here. Import this font. Now, how do we use it? So, uh, everything is within the body, so this will be just fine. So, all we have to do is go font dash family, and we can. We want to set up a backup font of Times New Roman. 
So you'll notice that it's already changed, but that's our backup font. So all we have to do here is throw in the font in quotations because we're importing it, a lobster. And now when we save it, you'll see that everything is in lobster font. Now, um, if you're not really sure how this works, basically you take the link tag, the location of the font, then you set the relative style sheet, and type text slash CSS. It's pretty much the same for everything. So last but not least, what we can do here is set the background dash color to uh, the background dash color to black because um, I'm not very original. That's a little hard to see. So instead, we're just going to set the color property to white as well. And you'll notice everything is white. So um, I don't like how small this is. So let's go ahead and target the H1. And we can just set the font dash size to let's say let's see what 100 pixels looks like cool um the bottom of that is a little bit too close to this so what we can do here is just add um, margin dash bottom of 25 px and you'll see that it's a little bit lower now now that's it i mean there's a ton of stuff you can do but at the end of the day all we had to really do was create a few things oh the last thing is when we click this uh, we don't really want it to go to the same page instead what we want is we want it to actually open up in a new window so the way that we do that is we just set target equal to blank and now when we click on our let's go ahead and do this full page because we're officially done um, now when we click on our stuff it'll pop up in a new window so that's pretty much it. It was kind of a quick and fun example. And um, I definitely think we did a little, it was kind of cool adding this on mouse hover and on, on mouse enter, on mouse exit uh, or outro. But um, that's pretty much it for this tribute project. There's just two user stories. Put an image in there and a link that opens to a new page and some information. So hope you guys enjoyed this sort of introductory front end project. And I appreciate you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.